I'm really excited that I get to share some of my thoughts in my head on this platform. I feel like I've been communicating with you all uh, for quite a long time, but mainly on one level, right, which is the yoga practice. And the yoga practice itself is, for me, really a, a key part of my life, but um, in a way that it inspires me to grow off the mat. And I hope it's the same for you. And if it's not, and you're at a place where yoga is just for the physical side of it, I promise you it will seep in to many different parts of your life on your own. You'll notice that you're eating better because it feels better. You're no you'll notice that you're thinking differently about things because it does tend to bring out the, the positive thought process a lot more than other types of movement modalities. Now, what I wanted to talk about in this practice, it comes up in this practice, I'm so used to saying that, <laughs> in this talk, uh, which comes up for me a lot, is life in transition. And what I mean by that is, I feel like the only constant thing in life is change. And I find myself, although I, I feel like I'm grown, I've grown a lot more in the last 10 years than I ever have, I still find myself dipping into old patterns. And one of them is building on expectations of things staying the same and then getting disappointed when those things don't stay the same. And that's a vicious cycle. I'm sure if you're listening, you've probably done that and you do that often like I do. You know, nobody really likes things to change, especially if they make you happy. So one of the ways that I've dealt with life in transition is to look at it from the lens or the perspective of the yoga practice which at first was kind of shocking because I always thought, well, transitions in yoga are mirroring my transitions in life. But when I teach transitions in a practice, I always say, before you do a transition, you'll want to know point A and point B, where you're coming from and where you're going. And if you know those two poses, let's say it's a crow to chaturanga, if you know those two poses quite well, then the transition will be rather successful. The problem is, that doesn't mirror life because most of the time we don't know point B. We know where we're coming from, but the destination or the result of the destination that we're going to is rather unknown. And when we don't know something, when <laughs> something is unknown, it is really scary, right? <laughs> I don't know many people who are like, oh, I'm so excited to do something that I have no idea what the outcome is going to be, especially when it involves life and our comfort. So. One of the things that has really helped me, you know, embrace the fact that things don't stay the same is to know that pain is unavoidable, but suffering is, right? So if you spend your life fearing pain, it's kind of a catch-22 because it will come, right? The pain or discomfort of things changing, it will come. But dreading it and doing things that make you suffer, that you can change. So I'm not saying I know the key. I'm also not saying don't, you know, be sad or upset when things are changing. Instead, what I'm saying and what I found to be quite helpful is to be as present in the transitions as possible. And what I mean by that is not so much present in your surroundings or present in you know, what's going on around you, more so present in what's going on within you. Because we can't really stop thoughts from arising. We can, however, shift what the next thought is going to be, how we react to those thoughts. And that's the beauty about transitions. If everything stayed the same, we would never grow. We would just be in our little bubbles, super comfortable all the time, and I know that sounds really great. <laughs> but most of the time in my personal experience, growth has come from discomfort. So if you're present within your transitions in life, right, you're able to see how you react to certain things. You're able to observe and acknowledge what your habitual patterns are. And once you have that awareness, you rarely go backwards. You know, you make a conscious choice to either continue doing that thing that hurts you over and over again, or you decide to choose how you want to react next. And it's not always the right choice or reaction that you shift to, but at least you're trying something different because the definition of insanity is, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. Hopefully there are some nuggets in there for you. Um, you know, don't beat yourself up. That's one of my greatest lessons. If you 
do the same thing over and over again. Beat yourself up if you choose that same reaction and stop. That's really important. Stay present in yourself, in who you are, how you react to situations. And transitions will tend to be a little bit easier in life, especially when you're aware of the fact that change does help you grow. Hopefully there were some things there for you. Thanks so much for listening.